Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be comparing CompTIA Security Plus with CompTIA Siza Plus and kind of trying to figure out which one is better if we can even do that. We're gonna be looking at both shirts in terms of the actual content that's inside, the difficulty of both of them, the cost, the number of objectives, the number of key terms in the exam, the number of job hits each one of them has on Indeed. Like if you search Indeed for CompTIA Security Plus, like does it have more hits than Siza Plus? We're gonna look at them in terms of average salary based on the jobs that require them on Indeed, as well as how well each of them are in terms of the Department of Defense, like which one offers you more opportunity. And before we get started, me and my team built two high quality practice question test banks for both of these exams, as well as several others, complete with answer explanations, as well as page number references if you need to learn more about any particular question. In exchange for these, please consider subscribing. I think only like a third of you watching are subscribed. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it. So hopping right into things, I'm gonna kind of use this spreadsheet here to compare and contrast each of the certs and then I'm going to determine a winner for each property if that makes sense if that's even possible so starting right out uh, in terms of content security plus is just a general security theory where a size of plus is more security operations and incident response I can't really say either one of these is a winner here because it's just two different things like broad versus narrow so I'm just gonna give them a draw for this Next one, difficulty. Um, Security Plus is more entry level and broad, where Siza Plus is kind of more like mid level or mid career and narrow. Um, this one's hard to say who's a winner, but generally speaking, if a certification or exam is more difficult, it's kind of deemed to be more valuable. So maybe I'll give this one to Siza Plus because it's more difficult. Let me know if you disagree with that. Um, in terms of cost, they both cost $404. However, you can get a 30% discount from Security Plus if you complete the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certification. So I'll put a link to that in the description with a seven day free trial. In the end, I think if you finish that exam in you know seven days or something like this or a month, like 30% is something like $161 or $160 off Security Plus, which is pretty significant, bringing the cost down quite a bit. So. Um, I'll just give the cost to Security Plus in this one um, just because the you can essentially get a free discount for it and it's cheaper than Siza Plus. In terms of objectives, this isn't the number of objectives. This is just the word count from the objectives document. Um, it was just easier for me to count up that way. So Security Plus has 2,900 words and Siza Plus has 1,400 words. And it's easy to be like, well, Security Plus is the winner because there's, there's more objectives. But remember, Siza Plus is more specialized and it's arguably more difficult than Security Plus. So it's really hard to say who wins in terms of objectives. Um, so I, I might be inclined to give this a draw. Um, same with the exam terms. These are like the terms that you need to know for the exam. Security Plus, again, has almost twice as many as Siza Plus. Uh, Security Plus is more broad. Remember, Siza Plus is more narrow. It, again, it's hard to say like, oh, Security Plus wins, there's more because, you know, Siza Plus is more difficult and it's really difficult to weigh these. So I'm just gonna give these both a draw, to be honest, that seems the most fair. Um, in terms of job hits though, if you go to Indeed and you type uh, CompTIA Security Plus in quotes, you'll end up getting about 3,600 jobs, at least at the time of me typing this or making this anyway. Um, if you go to Indeed and type Siza Plus in quotes, you end up getting uh, about 1,400 or almost 1,500 jobs. Um, for this one, Security Plus is a clear winner because just more employers are like quote unquote asking for it, if that makes sense. Um, in terms of the average salary, this was determined on Indeed as well. When you search CompTIA Security Plus and you go to jobs, it kind of lists out the number of jobs that the cert that's asking for the cert as well as a estimation for the salary range. So I basically added all of these up and averaged them out. And Security Plus, the average salary is about 104,000. Average salary for a size of plus is 111,000. Um, clear winner for this size of plus because 111K is more. In terms of the Department of Defense, 8570 and 8140, if you don't know what this is, um, I recommend Googling it and checking it out. But basically, if you work um, for the Department of Defense or as like a defense contractor or something like this, depending on the job, um, they can require you to get certain certifications. So a certain job can be like, okay, you need like an IAM level two certification to work this job. So you would have to like go out and get um 
IAM level two or higher certification like CISSP or something like this. Or the job might just require, you know, IAT level two, something like this. So in terms of this, Security Plus covers IAT and IAM, IAT level two and IAM level one, where Asiza Plus covers IAT level two, as well as CSSP analyst infrastructure support, incident responder and auditor. So Asiza Plus has more stuff in here. So I'm more inclined to say Asiza Plus is the winner, though it's kind of questionable because most of the jobs I see either require like IAT or IAM level um, certification, but Sizer Plus doesn't have any IAM. But still, there's a lot more, so I'm just going to go ahead and give the winner for defense to Sizer Plus. So as I was making this video, I got to the end of this, and I, I still didn't know like which one was better. So I, I went to ChatGPT and I basically asked it like, CompTIA Sizer Plus versus Security Plus, which certification is better? I know you want to answer. It depends, but don't. You know the purpose of certs is to get more money, so based on that, just tell me which one is better and why. Do not give me an it depends answer, answer in 10 words or less. And ChatGPT came back and said a CompTIA size of plus, higher focus on cybersecurity and often higher pay. So I, I tend to maybe agree with this if someone was holding a particular weapon into my head. I, I might be like, oh, I'm like size of plus because, you know, the, the goal is to make more money and it just is more narrow and deep and that usually results in getting more money but of course there's you know a place for both of these if you're a brand new person i don't expect you to go out and get size plus i'll i'll probably tell you to go get google Cybersecurity support certification take that discount and then go get security plus if you really want to um, i i do recommend that so i'm not telling you like oh if you're brand new like go get size plus but you know in terms of they're, they're like kind, kind of apples and oranges, but in terms of like getting more money and specializing and like all that, yeah, size of plus is probably better. But after you get one or both of these, I do recommend checking out my cybersecurity course. We deal with live attack traffic on the internet, practice incident response. We set up a miniature sock and a honey net in the cloud and do all kinds of cool lab activities. There's also an internship component to it as well if you need experience to go on your resume. A lot of people have gone through the course already gotten jobs with it and I, I genuinely think it's a really good product so definitely check that out don't forget all of our free practice exam questions as well we don't just have security plus and size of plus we have cssp a plus network plus itil and we're also building a pen test plus deck so definitely check those out thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video